Hi, I'm Kristen Patterson from MusicianTip.com and this is a play-along video to help you learn arm vibrato. This is how I teach my students, so I want to teach you too. The first thing we're going to do is what I call air vibrato. So we're not going to use our violin or our bow for most of this exercise. We'll put it all together at the end. It's going to be five simple steps. So the first step is going to be air vibrato. Here we go. What we're going to do is hold your, hold your hand <laughs> up in playing position like this, and we're going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We're going to get a little bit smaller and a little bit faster until we're doing that. And we're going to stretch our arm out. We're going to do it again. Back up in plank position. We're going to go back and forth, and back and forth, back and forth. Getting smaller and faster. There we go. Remember to keep your fingers relaxed and make sure we're not letting our wrist change position like this. Okay, and this is arm vibrato. There is a thing called wrist vibrato where it's more like this, or even some finger vibrato. But the arm vibrato gives you the biggest. Um, a really deep and warm sounding vibrato, and especially when you get good at it, you'll be able to get the speed to go quickly, so you'll be able to vary the intensity from really deep and quick to mellow and wide and wobbly. So this is a really good um, versatile vibrato to learn. Let's do the air vibrato again. Come up. So we want to go back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth, getting smaller and faster. And there we go. Okay, so I want you to go practice that a whole bunch when you get good at that. Then let's continue and we'll go to the next step. The next step is doing the air vibrato bow <laughs> motion. All it is is down bow for a whole note, which is four counts, and up bow for a whole note, four counts. So here's what we do. This is the bow. Pretty simple. So go down, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Down, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Simple, right? Down, two, three, four, up. Two, three, four. One more time. Down, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Okay, so that stuff's not too bad. We have the air vibrato back and forth, getting smaller and quicker. And now we know what our bow is going to do. It's going to go down for four and up for four. The next step is going to be using that air vibrato, or sorry, the air bow motion while we start to move our left hand in a measured um, pattern. We're actually going to do a certain rhythm in it, and I'll show you how we do that. Watch me first, and watch what I do. Okay, I'm going to put my hand up in playing position. I'm going to do my air bow down for four, and watch what happens on my up bow. I'll go real slow so you can see what I'm doing. Down, two, three, four. Now watch. Up, and two, and three, and four. Did you see that? Watch again. Ready? Down, two, three, four, up, and two, and three, and four. Okay? So we're not moving as soon as our, we're not moving our left hand as soon as our bow moves. We're waiting until it starts to go up, and then we go, and two, and three, and four. Okay? You ready to try it with me? Here we go. Playing position, fingers are relaxed. Here we go. Down, two, three, four, up, and two, and three, and four. Did you move on one? Oh. Try it again, ready? Down, two, three, four, up, and two, and three, and four. Again, down, two, three, four, up, and two, and three, and four. Now practice that a whole bunch. That's really tricky to get the coordination of the up and two and three and four. Okay, so practice that a bunch. 
Last step is to put it all together with the violin and the bow. So let's do that. <laughs> 